Hello, we are a team missing propellers from the BWSI UAV course. I'm Michelle. My name is KG. And my name is Nandini. For our final challenge, we decided to make our drones fly through an obstacle course autonomously. We made the course using pool noodles and lots and lots of tape. We created hoops for the drone using blue, green, and orange pool noodles. These colors are easy to recognize using OpenCV color thresholding functions. We draw contours around areas of the image that have the desired color, then fit an ellipse to the contour that encloses the largest area. In this picture, a blue lamp's contour is detected. But it is not mistaken as a hoop because its area is smaller. As demonstrated in the video, our code can draw an ellipse with adequate accuracy even when the hoop is partially obscured. On the hoop relative position and orientation using OpenCV solve PMP function. This function returns a translation vector with distances in the x, y, and z directions as well as a rotation matrix. We converted the rotation matrix into Euler angles and used those to help determine the hoop's relative yaw angle from the drone. Our centering process features four proportional integral derivative or PID controllers. The derivative term counters overshooting by lowering the speed of the drone as it approaches the center and the integral term reduces steady state error by slowly increasing speed over time. Tuning the PID constraints is very important because the drone's velocity should be as small as possible when it reaches the center of the hoop. We use four PID controllers in our alignment process. Our code makes decisions using a finite state machine. The first state is searching for the hoop by rotating in place at a specified height. Once the hoop is found, the program switches to the second state where the drone lines up with the hoop. This is where the most adjustments are made. After aligning with the hoop, the drone moves to the third state, where it flies forward while making minor adjustments only. Once the drone can no longer see the hoop, it flies forward for a little longer in the fourth state. At this point, the drone returns to the first state and starts searching for the next color of hoop. Like any project, we had a lot more mistakes than successes. Some of them were silly, like wearing the same color shirt as the hoop we were looking for. It sometimes caused the drone to fly straight at us instead. Others were more difficult. We had a lot of problems with the drone crashing into the hoop because its yaw angle was overshooting. We realized that it was very difficult to learn from our mistakes when our drone crashed suddenly. We enhanced the camera feed with live updates of variables and recorded the entire flight from the drone's point of view. This allowed us to go over the flight after the crash in detail and figure out exactly what went wrong. In this case, it looks like our PRD needs some tuning. The source of the overshooting yaw problem is that the yaw angle is always positive. This is because hoops at opposite angles result in identical ellipses. If the angles were always positive, the drone would only rotate in one direction. To solve this problem, we kept track of a set of past yaw angles and found the average rate of change of the set. If the rate of change is positive, the drone is getting farther from the correct yaw, so we switch science on the angle to have the drone rotate in the opposite direction. This not only allows us to rotate in both directions, but it also allows the drone to correct any overshoot. While we didn't have time to do this, the next improvement for us would be to program the drone to fly through hoops at any pitch. We already have accurate pitch information, but we would need to write an algorithm that keeps the hoop in frame while flying high enough to be able to go through the hoop at an angle. This would allow us to go up and down stairs and take on more complex obstacle courses.